Hi guys, I'm Paul from Source Sounds in Sheffield. What we've got is a Ford Transit Custom, it's an MSRT and it's a 2019 vehicle. From the products here you can see we've probably done an audio upgrade. Now these vans are absolutely amazing. Really high spec, obviously it's got the tablet in the dash, full leather interior, pretty much every toy you can add. However the audio in these vehicles is pretty poor. Now in a bit I'll show you the factory speakers that were in there that were really, really, really dire. What we've done is we've fitted some products here. So we've fitted an Audison subwoofer box, which is an amplified system. We've fitted underneath the rear seat and cables hidden out of the way. Again, I'll show you shortly. We've fitted some Hertz coaxials and some Hertz components. There's an amplifier here, which is an Audison AP 8.9 bit. Now that amplifier has got a DSP processor in it, so it can correct the sounds that the Ford stereo does some really weird stuff. And, and obviously what most people find is as they turn the stereo up, the output really doesn't improve much so the stereo has all the connectivity that you'd want but it just sounds pretty poor in here it actually looks pretty much standard but sounds fantastic i'll talk you through some of the stuff oh and one last thing before i forget we've also fitted a dash camera because this is quite popular nowadays so i'll show you through the stuff and we'll see how we go from there so i'm just going to go in the vehicle but i'm going to talk to you about some security upgrades that we've done we have actually fitted a Clifford alarm system on this because these vehicles are prone to attack. Obviously you'll see, you can't easily see it, but there's the Clifford window sticker on we've done. And this is a Concept 650. Protects the vehicle really well done. Ultrasonics in the back because there's a bulkhead. Gentleman wants to protect his investment realistically. We've also fitted the rep lock because these do get damaged. Even the newer version where this actually did come with, still prone to attack. So we've fitted the locks for vans, high security thing. Uh, and obviously there's the key that it works. Right guys, so we're now inside the vehicle, just going to show you where the products are. So we, in the door here we've fitted um, a woofer, an upgraded woofer, heavily soundproof the doors and then the tweeter again is in the stock location. This is the um, new version of the dash with the tablet type thing and as you can see it's a really high spec vehicle, leather, in an MSRT. So if you want to just come down and obviously look at the doors, that looks just standard as you can see from your own vehicles or that kind of stuff however it's a much better woofer in there and again in the a pillars again they look totally stock but actually work fantastic now the sound in this really really works great it produces the sound that you want i'm going to show you through into the back but one last thing before we go through the subwoofer level control because the stereo doesn't have any control we've actually fitted a little controller up here and this gives us a i don't know if you can actually hear that or not but an increase and a decrease in bass. So as I turn the stereo up, it probably comes across a little bit boomy, but it gives us that facility to be able to increase and decrease the, the bass accordingly. Right, we're now in the back of the vehicle. So what we're going to do is show you the speakers we've fitted in the bulkhead. And as you can see, they're really discreet and out of the way. However, if we pan round now, there you can see the Hertz speakers and the grills and actually look fantastic in there. Now I know this is a plastic bulkhead, but what we've done on the back of the bulkhead is we've added some soundproofing, which I'll show you shortly, to reduce rattles. Right, so this is underneath the back bench seat. What we've got here is the Audison Amplified sub box. Again, it's really well hidden out of the way. This is powered, so it can be disconnected and removed out of the vehicle if you needed that extra space. However, this really does work incredibly well. It gives the customer the base he wants, and actually is nice and neat and hidden out of the way. This has actually got a 10 inch subwoofer in it, but really, really rocks and works fantastic. As we spoke about earlier, this is just the rear of the speakers and this is the soundproofing on the back of the rear speakers to actually stop the resonance and vibrations. And as you can see, the cables run really neat and up and out of the way, so they're not gonna get trapped on anything in the load area. Right guys, just a quick rundown on the speakers. Now what I'm gonna show you is these are the Ford speakers. They're fairly plasticky, so as I show, turn them around like that, you can see they're not particularly powerful, so it says 25 watts. But the main thing, to be fair, as you can see, is the quality is really poor without being funny. Now, this is the tweeter. If you look on the back there, there's a little capacitor there. And again, they're not very good quality, but to be understood, I mean, obviously, most people don't understand a good sound. Now, these speakers themselves, some people have said they sound great, but I'm going to show you what we've fitted. So these are the Hertz MLK 165.3 speakers. The product itself comes with a three-year warranty when we install it. 
what you can see here is this is the woofer now the quality of the speaker is fantastic so you can see the magnet there is quite big um, okay it does take a bit of work to get these in the door but the sound quality is just phenomenal so you can see there there's a really sort of convex concave cone in that makes sense and then you've got this tweeter and again these have gone in the stock location now this bit here that sort of looks like an amplifier what this is is a crossover what this does is it sends the sound to the right places so so what you get is you get high frequency coming through your tweeter and obviously your mid-range and your low frequency coming through your woofer now as you've seen in the van we've basically installed these really well and out of the way uh, you can't see anything but obviously the sound quality is far far better right guys so one quick thing to show you now obviously this is really sort of well connected and featured however there's very little to do with in audio adjustments what we've done with this Audison AP 8.9 bit amplifier is it's given us a facility as you, I don't know if you can see on the laptop here to be able to adjust stuff so it allows us to adjust channels it allows us to adjust crossover slopes it allows us to adjust the speakers time alignment it actually allows us to tune the vehicle fully so what we do as part and parcel of an audio upgrade when we use this type of equipment it would allow me to actually connect in to the uh, amplifier and input settings and actually tune the sound according to what you actually wanted so depending on where speakers go the type of speakers the type of music you listen to we can actually adjust so what I would do for further information on upgrading the audio in your vehicle give us a call on 0114 257 1550 thank you for watching